Has this ever happened to you? Yeah, it sucks. Your phone goes flying out of your pocket and it ends up looking like this. It's an iPhone 8 and one, it's dead. So I can't even prove to you that it's an iPhone 8. But yeah, it's a destroyed phone. Um, I can probably take off the screen, uh, the back, because I won't be able to fix the back because if you've seen from videos from people like Jeffries, you have to like laser off the back glass. Only in the iPhone 14 did they solve this, and it is only in the base 14, which I'm kind of annoyed about because I have a 14 Pro. Yeah, as you can see, this is dead. And he actually came in this case too, which is actually really cool because got some important cards, you know? You got your McDonald's and your Dave and & Buster's. And I guess I can throw it behind me because I won't, again, I'll not be able to fix this, but um, I do have a case that I'm gonna sell with it. This is from my old iPhone 7, it fits. Um, and honestly, I think it looks better than the other one. So I think the blue looks really good with the black. And I like that other case more because this is kind of beat up, but it gets, it comes with a free case. Like pretty much anyone will take that. But now I want to talk about um, how I'm planning on fixing this. Because you can't just go slap, slap, and boom, it's fixed. That is not how computers work. Because if it did work that way, one, it would be crazy, and two, that would be really nice. So I've bought some parts. I'm going to put this aside. And the first thing is obviously the display. This is some, I think, $25 uh, display off Amazon. I got it for $25. It had like 25,000 five star reviews. Uh, or I think it averaged out to about 4.6, which is pretty good. And it has a bunch of El Cheapo tools, the only one of which I will be using is this, because I will be using my iFixit toolkit, which I will link up there on um, the video that I did about the sort of stuff that I'm using, because I am using the PRG mat. I will be using the magnetic mat for bigger parts, and I will be using my iFixit toolkit to fix up this phone. I just don't love the. Um, suction cup that comes with the iFixit kit, so I decided might as well use this one. Um, the rest of the tools are pretty meh, but the main stuff is we have our adhesive, which is key, because I don't want to get it water damaged, um, a screen protector, which I'm not going to be putting on, and a display, which is um, looks actually pretty decent, and it's got a little bubbles in the, this thing, but you know, that doesn't really matter. Um, I can get the display face down here. And then it's got some other stuff, and that doesn't matter. For all that way. Um, I will be using my MacBook for this. I have my MacBook over there, um, off the camera. But I do have some replacement guides, even though I kind of know what I'm doing. Then I also bought a battery. So um, my friend who gave me this said it has terrible battery life. And if you do look in the battery health, it's at 75. So we kind of need a new battery. I might be doing this. I might not. I don't know. But I bought it for my fix it because if you buy cheap batteries, then it won't go well. Um, you will not, like, it could genuinely burn your house down. So do not buy cheap batteries, but it's okay to buy cheap displays as long as you don't care about display quality, obviously. But first thing um, is I think we should get down to it. So the first thing is you have to remove the two panel screws in the bottom. So I'm gonna grab my uh, screwdriver and my P2 bit. And that's one. And this mat actually has something really nice. You can put all the screws in these little holes in the side. So the next thing I kind of have to do off camera, um, you have to heat up the adhesive all around the display and then take the display off. Okay, and I have heated the display glass. Next thing we're going to have to do is grab some uh, packing tape, which I do not have, I do not have. I'm back, we got ourselves some packing tape, and I just realized I don't have scissors. I'm really, god, this is going to take a lot of editing. Anyway, these were the best things I could find. Um, I know what they're for, like little craft projects, probably. But basically what you want to do is put tape over the display because since it's so destroyed, uh, nor they won't stick to it. So I'm gonna put it right above the home button. I'm gonna put this thing on, get rid of all the massive. Oh god, that scared me. Put on the uh, tool, and I'm going to grab a couple 
Are these things the tar picks or bone repair picks? And I'm going to try and pull it up. And there we go. Oh god, there's a lot of cracking. I don't love that. I'm gonna look through here. Um this got e open easier than I thought. Um you wanna pry it around the edge. a lot of scary noises and I can lift, lift the phone and that is the inside of the iPhone 8 and what I'm gonna do so it doesn't fall over is nothing because I don't have anything to lean it on oh wait ha ha I do have something to lean on so the next thing we're gonna want to do is disconnect the battery that is always the first step in any repair so I'm going to grab uh, I'm trying to figure out Philip, a Phillips, a small Phillips driver panel up here. Um, let's see if this works. Yep. All right. So now we can remove these four screws. Magnets are really nice. Okay. So now I can remove this. And throw that right there. And first thing, disconnect the battery. So the battery is the cable right here. Are you sure? No, it's this one. And the battery's been disconnected. Now I'm going to uh, disconnect this display cable and this display cable. And then we move on to the top, where, I don't even know what that is. Um, I think this one's been repaired before, because it doesn't look as, I guess, ornate. Not really ornate, but like, neat as some other phones that I've seen uh, been repaired. And then there's a sneaky screw that's kind of hard to get to right here. And here we go. Now we can pull off. There we go. And we can remove the last display cable. And pull on the display. And we have separated the display. Um, I'm going to take off, I guess, the, this guy. And then I'm going to take this off. All right, now that we have separated the display, we can't just throw it away because Apple actually pairs Touch ID with the home button. So what we're gonna have to do is replace that. But I'm actually going to worry about the battery first because, yeah. So I'm gonna swap over my computer because I'm trying to double hand filming this video, doing this, making sure you guys see something interesting. Um, and figuring out how to do this correctly so I don't mess up. So, yes, okay. All right, down near the lightning port, what we're gonna wanna do is remove these three brackets, or three screws, so we can remove this bracket. What we're trying to do now is actually remove the Taptic engine to give the battery adhesive enough room to pull out. This cable is this back is out. Next, what we're gonna do is um, use a pry pick thing to remove whatever adhesive this is. Holding on something that looks like a microphone, and I guess we can pop that out. Um, yep, and we can pull this microphone out. So I'm going to make sure I remember that. That is okay. So I was wrong. This is the Wi-Fi diversity antenna. I'm assuming that's just Wi-Fi. So that's kind of important. You know what? I cannot get that out, so I'm just gonna leave the tapping engine like this. 
And what we're going to want to do now is release these pull tabs. So these things are not... Oh wait, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, what I want to do now is remove these pull tabs. So these are not great. They're basically... Re like basically really annoying command strips you know how like some like they work well but when you want to take them off they end up pulling off the pink as well as what as the command hook Okay, I'm gonna try and get these off later. Um, I got the majority of it off, but this this does not look great. Um, I don't think it'll have any impact on the actual phone. Just, if anyone comes in here in the future, they will be able to tell if someone's already in here. But I'm gonna put that aside, and we can get down to business with this display. So, what we're gonna wanna do is, I'm gonna wanna find this, and remove the Touch ID. So. To remove this bracket, um, remove the Touch ID bracket from the phone. Or I guess from the screen now. It's not necessarily. I have just heated it for a really long time, so let's hope that this comes off easily because I really don't feel like ruining touch ID. That drastically decreases how much I can sell this for. Oh wait, it's this cable. This is off this way. And there we have our home button. Okay, um, that display can be forgotten. And now what we're gonna wanna do is put that on this display. So we're gonna wanna take off, actually not even that right now. Okay, so I assume, put this back in. I don't know if it replaced the adhesive for this, but I'm assuming the, uh... Okay, so now I think we actually get to test and see if this works. So I'm gonna take off whatever adhesive this. Oh wait, that's adhesive security down. Never mind, let's not take that off. Um, we can pull back our display, and I'm going to reconnect first. We have an Apple logo, let's go. Let's see if this actually powers on. I'm hyped. Yes. We might get an, import, an important battery message, an important display message, but that's just Apple just trying to stop. Third party repair, baby. It works, let's go. Why is the brightness at zero? Because the brightness is at zero. Uh, let's see what the battery says. Yes! We fixed it! We fixed this phone! That is crazy! 
All right, let's finish putting it back together, I guess. So we're gonna shut it down again. And we have our iPhone 8 back together. We can boot it up. And there we go. Um, it's a junk adhesive, it didn't work. So this has been an interesting experience. On one hand, I wasn't able to get the adhesive back on, so this phone does not have great waterproofing. But on the other hand, I fixed a phone. This phone is fully working, and honestly, if I still had my old 7, I would use it. I would be switching it, I had my SIM card in it, I would be using it full time. Because this phone is actually a reliable phone for a lot of people. If you don't need a ton of battery life and you use your phone mainly for watching a little bit of YouTube here and there, maybe uh, taking a few photos, this can do that quite easily. It's supported by iOS 16 and there's no reason why Apple should get rid of it. I mean, it's from 2017, but it's still pretty fast. The reason that it was kind of slow when I was going through the UI was because the new battery, it had to get used to it, it has new parts inside of it. But Touch ID still works, everything still works. Only thing that I wish I could fix, but I can't, is the back glass. And I've already gone through why that would be an insane thing for me to try. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, scroll down, smack the subscribe button, click the like button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.